Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Cecilia from Scientist Plants. In this video, I'm sharing my full lineup for 2023. I just want to share the planners and the journals that I've been using. There are videos that I released um, a couple weeks ago or even a month ago showing some of the planners that I want to use. Now I finally have them all and I think they are mostly set up so I can show a bit how things are looking like. Uh, as you can see here in front of me, I have the main thing, but I also have other things. <laughs> um, but before I start, I just want to thank uh, Nora and Jackie, Nora at Doctor of Plans and Jackie at Coat the Crow for doing these videos with me. Uh, our goal was mainly to share fun, nice, stationary things over the holiday weekend in case you guys have time to watch or if you're just like not super busy or if you don't celebrate but also if you celebrate so that you have something fun to look for and if you also share your lineup or your love for stationery here on YouTube and Instagram you can always share with us and we'll be happy to check it out so thanks nora and jackie and i hope that you guys go check their channels and their videos this one talking about the lineup i feel like it's even more fun to see what other people are using nora and jackie are using some of the books that i am but also different ones so i think that's why it's nice to collaborate with people that share some similarities, but also have different things to show. So make sure that you go follow them. I'm going to link their channels and their videos below as soon as they are up. So let's talk about my planner lineup. So here in front of me, you have the my main books. Um, so if I have to tell you which will be the books that I'll be mainly using 2023 will be these three. So... To no surprise, I have Hobonichi Weeks and I have two of them. This one is the Mega Snicker. So it's this thin one with more notes pages in the back. Uh, no bookmarks or, yeah, no, like, this thin bookmarks. So I have this clip ones. This is the Aurora. This is the first English version Hobonichi and this one is a regular one so there are like no notes pages and i'll be using both of them every sorry you're gonna hear the noises of the wind it's like a there is a storm going on here in quebec today i think in the entire north so i have the aurora um as my journal but every year when it's time to start a new planner I kind of get super excited with the new covers and I just wanted to jump to it. So I started using the Aurora kind of as my main planner for everything. But now that, you know, I've been already playing with it for a little bit, there were some days that I saw that I had a lot of things to do and things start getting a little cramped. I was like, okay, I need to start using my notes pages. So I'm fine. I love the Aurora, it's beautiful, but I want this to be my journal because I do want to have a lot of notes pages. So this is how these two Hobonichi Weeks will work. The Hobonichi Weeks Mega Sneaker will be my main planner, just like it was for 2022 and 2021. Uh, so I'll be using the same way. I don't have a lot of things done here for December. I just have a couple of stuff that I stick, like some stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co, but well, it will be used the same way for like appointments and events and to-dos here. I wasn't really using in this week. I just copied it all with my Jetstream because I'm like, do I want to use Jetstream again or do I want to stick with the Muji uh, 0 0.38 black blue? And this is what I'm going to be using for now. I still love this Muji. By the way, check my video with my stationary favorites. I talk about all the things with the Muji and the pens that you can use. And here there's another one that I didn't share in this video, but this is the Uniball one. And guess what? Also fits the Muji refill. So this is what I have in here. So yeah, the Hobonichi Mega Snicker will be again my main planner. I will let it be used for a couple months and I'll come back to share, just do a check-in on how things are and do a flip. Like this, you can see if I change anything for this year. But so far, it'll be used the same. 
Aurora will be a fun journal, just something that will be close to me and also my Japanese practice. And so this will be on my desk all the time and it'll be very easy to reach and to write. And then whenever I have time on the weekend, I will jump into my traveler's notebook in a vertical layout. And I also have a video uh, sharing a flip through of the year. I'm going to link below. So this cover is a standard side of the Traveler's Notebook in the blue cover. It has customizations that were done by Bankuchen. Oh my god, I don't know how the sound is of the, of the storm now. It's even raining. Yeah, so as I was thinking, I didn't really pick the monthly inserts to use. Well, I have it, but I'm not going to use it. I decided not to. So I just have the weekly here. So this is the weekly vertical. I already decorated the cover with stickers and I really love how this turned out. So we have stickers from the Traveler's Company. I have these stickers from Toxmos. She has a shop called Platinum Floor. I'm going to link below. And she did again this sticker with the nib, with the ear. I love that. I have this here from Sojourner that says documenting life as it happens. I think it's perfect. I have this sticker from Line Friends. This is brown. I have this kind of Polaroid, not Polaroid, just a film, film. This is from Notebook Therapy, and this is again from Traveler's Company. And it has this beautiful floral dashboard from Cat's Press Co. Um, they have from different sizes, and I just got from the standard tee, and it has pockets. Here in the back, I put some sticker. In the front, there is also a pocket, but I decided just to leave like this, and then I can see my decorated cover. And I have this um, sticker folder from the Coffee Monsters Co. So this was part of their advent calendar. And what I want to do with this is just to hold um, pieces of washi, stickers that I want to use. M most importantly, the seasonal ones so that I don't forget. Because I do have my bow bag full of stickers, albums, and it all. And then I would just place here the ones that I want to use for that month or that period of time so that I don't forget. And I would just keep it all tucked in here in my TN and then I'm good to go. So those are the main books that I want to use for this year. And those were the ones that I used for the most in 2022 as well. But as you can see here, there is a bit more going on. So all the rest is extra whenever I feel like or when I need it. Not a big deal. Not that serious. This guy here is the five-year journal that I got on my birthday this year, so in May. So this is the 2022 to 2026. Um, I am not up to date on, on here. I have it written from January to June. And then December is when I went back and I have it like I'm up to date in December. So what I want to do here is to journal in Portuguese. So if you guys don't know, I'm Brazilian, but I mainly write in things in English. Um, because yeah, my life just, it's all about speaking English, <laughs> speaking English at work and I have a lot of friends here in the internet and everything's just in English and because I plan for work in English and my stationary love, although there is a lot of journal, but planning is my main thing and I do it all in English for work. So I think it kind of just all the stationary stuff kind of got dragged into the uh, English speaking <laughs> a vortex of my life. So yeah, but I have this thing here and I decided to write in Portuguese. So this, I just do it from time to time, not even every week. Now in December, because we are at home for the holidays, I am kind of up to the, oops, in December, but not really in the entire year. So I would just sit down, get my TNs, and then from there I would write the highlights in Portuguese. So this is how I'm doing. And to be honest, it's been very relaxing to me. So I'm even okay that I'm not up to date, but do want things to be translating here in Portuguese, just in case one day I want to look back, it's all in here. And this is like a book that it will concentrate five years. So it doesn't even take that much space. So I'm very happy with it and I'll keep going. This little basket here or um just a tiny thing that sits on my desk actually not this one but in the office there are some other books in here i'm not gonna go too much into detail with the setup of that because i have already showed but basically i have the notey uh the notey is kind of a tiny hobonichi weeks 
I'm thinking of using this as my gratitude and not sure if it's gonna work, but it's true that from time to time I like to use a pocket planner just to, you know, when I want to travel light. So it's here. I bought it from Amazon Japan together with an insert from Plotter. So I'll see how it's gonna go. If I still use it from time to time like I did this year, it's fine. But if not, I will rethink it for next year if I need to purchase that. So that's my Plotter pocket. You already saw it. There was a video about it. I can also link below. This is kind of my errands um, and order tracker. Just fun little planner. I will use it from time to time when I have shopping list and when I'm just like outside of the house every day to be honest I don't like to take my Hobonichi tweaks when I'm out shopping I only take my planner when I'm going to work or when I'm gonna go somewhere that I need my planner when I go just for errands I normally take this with me because it's smaller and I feel like if something happens and if I lose it it's not my main planner I don't know if it makes sense but this is how it works <laughs> with me and then I have the plotter Bible size, which is where I'm concentrating projects. But as I said before, there is a little dilemma on needing this and needing the wigs. Mm, it, I could be using only one, but I kind of love both. So yeah, I have both. Um, guys, this is the place. It's for you to, you know, accept your love for multiple planners. <laughs> And then the last one is the Planner Monkey Co. Freely Noted. This year, I might be jumping to the Freely Planned. The difference is that instead of just having a notebook like that with the grid, grid, let me show the grid, you also have some undated monthlies in front, which is fine. Like this, you don't need to be writing the, making the spread like I do. Uh, I'm gonna finish this book and when this book is finished, there's not a lot left, then I'm just gonna put a new one inside the cover. But this is only to be used whenever I feel like I don't want anything dated, I don't want no planners to be telling me what to do and what day, I just want to travel freely in this life, I get this one. So it's again, not the most important thing, not the principle, but sometimes I want it, so I like to have it here with me. So yeah, basically, this is the lineup, a bunch of books, but again, those are the main ones. All the other here's I just think that I might use from time to time or not. If I figure that I'm not using, then I reevaluate and I possibly don't buy it again, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that you enjoy this video. If you want to share your lineup with me in the comments, I will be thrilled to know. And it's very curious to see what everybody's using for different reasons. Um, as Jackie always says, you don't need to have all these books and planners and stationery to be part of our community. You just, you all the thing that you need is to love stationery. You can even just use a notebook for your bullet journaling, or you can use even more books than I do. It's all good, and we are here just to share the love. So, if you stay here for that long, I want to say that I will have a giveaway. I'll be only sharing this giveaway here on this video. You don't need to share anywhere. You don't need to post on, on, on Instagram. Actually, I'm avoiding giveaways on Instagram because of all the fake accounts that appear. They ask people to click here, click there, send messages here and there. No, everything is happening here on YouTube, and you're only going to listen... Um, from me on my videos so I'm going to be giving away this monthly insert from the travelers company because as I said I'm not going to be using and um, if you want to enter the giveaway all you have to do is to write a comment and say I would use the monthly for this and that so just tell me what are your ideas if you have no ideas you can say I want the monthly, but I have no idea what I'm going to use for. It's all good. So I'll be giving away the monthly insert. I can open up and share with you in case you don't know how it is. So this is the monthly. And it comes, so there is a guide. It comes with these two stickers. The monthly is like that. You see, it's all blank because I didn't use. But I did open. And I'm adding a lot of stickers from Sticky Club. And I'll be also adding some washi samples as well. So you have to be uh, comfortable in sharing uh, an, an address with me. It doesn't need to be yours, but an address where you want me to send this eventually if you win. 
and uh, I'll be sharing the winner in the description of this video. So I'm just going to write the winner is so-and-so, uh, or I can also announce in a future video, but you're going to be hearing from me. Nobody will be asking you to send a message here, email there, none of that. Um, but yeah, so if you want to get this monthly that I'm not going to use, just enter the giveaway. <laughs> so I'll see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays if you celebrate. Happy New Year if I don't talk to you before. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.